there, Brett with Solarola. It's a beautiful day in northern Wisconsin and we are doing some beautiful things. Here we're finishing up, well I should say we're probably about two-thirds done with uh, Jillian Moore's solar-powered trailer. So Jillian is going to be pulling this with a Rivian eventually and charging that Rivian. So this is her little mothership that she'll be camping in and pulling along with her and charging up her vehicle. So we're looking at getting about 50, 60 miles on a good and sunny day from this little solar trailer. So pretty cool. So let's check it out. We have 310 watt REC panels that we're putting up there and we have this side done. You can also see we have the rear um, panel done, but you know, we got wires hanging still and stuff, but now's a good time to take a look at it before everything gets covered up. So come on over to the rear. As I mentioned, we got our rear panel up. There's going to be a nice little hangout area in the back. That panel will then come down and kind of hold the doors will kind of um, load in and, and be a nice solid situation. Um, if you can look past our testing setup there, the wires, you'll see inside where we've got some um, batteries. We've got eight Chins 200 amp hour lithium batteries. They're so nice. They have the BMS already in them. Um, everything, I mean, you could short them across, they just shut down. Really nice to work with these batteries. I've used them on a, in a couple situations now, and they, they really put out what they're rated, and they're really nice. So to pull power out, we've got a Schneider 6800 watt inverter. So while that thing will do probably up to 10 kilowatts uh, for a few minutes, um, just as a result of heat, um, it'll do about a continuous 6800 watts. So that'll give her right around a level two charge. If she's cooking, she might want to turn that down and she can. So she'll transfer this battery pack then to her electric vehicle, whichever type of electric vehicle she chooses. We will be putting two more panels on top and two panels in the front, which are going to act like kind of a wedge and give us a little bit more aerodynamics. So as you noticed, everywhere you look, there's pairs of panels. So we're going into 48 volts. So the panels put out about 32 volts at maximum power. So um, we're going to series each um, pair of panels and then we're going to run them parallel into a 60 watt Schneider controller. So the Schneider controller is nice with the Schneider inverter because it all comes out on your display. So you'll see power coming in, you'll see power going out and you'll really be able to then know where you're at as the thing will tally your inputs and outputs. So it's going to be a sweet little trailer. If you look on the front of the trailer, we got a little electric jack on it for her. So instead of cranking and cranking and cranking to get your hitch to match up with your vehicle, it's just a push of a button. So that's a nice little option. And like I said, when we're finished, we're going to have two panels here that are in more of a wedge shape and they'll kind of come up like this for another 600 watts of power. So we had to get as many panels on it as we could. And we got 10 panels up there for about 3,100 watts. Okay, I've seen 22, 2,500 watts so far. So pretty good. Um, as you notice, there's actuators that lift the panels. So while we're driving, um, the panels go down and they are clipped in place for transport. So right now we're charging a Tesla here, a Model Y, at about uh, 3 kilowatts. We have about 20 kilowatt hours of storage. Um, we're probably going to be seeing between 15 and 18 kilowatt hours. So there's really no need to charge super fast because with just 18 kilowatt hours, you know, that's a six hour charge. So the idea will be that the charging will likely be done at night. So while you're sleeping, you're charging your car up, you're taking that time, slow charging, it's easy on all the components and it gets all of that power into your electric vehicle. So also a certain amount of this power, a substantial amount of this power will be used for cooking, lighting, um, running various appliances. And so a certain amount of power will be um, given to that. So as we're pulling three kilowatt hours right, or three kilowatts right now into the Tesla, that gives us another three kilowatts of headroom should you want to run a couple burners or run a heater or um, use, you know, pretty substantial appliances. You can run tools. We got a 240 outlet here right on the outside and right next to it we also have a 15 amp um, 110 outlet. So as you can see the Tesla charger there is plugged into the, the 220 outlet which is a 20 amp 240 outlet. And then we have the 110 
on the right of that. And then there are the switches there for the actuators. Try to appreciate for a moment that this is a totally sustainable situation. So we're here at the lake in a beautiful place, having fun, relaxing, enjoying the outdoors, and the vehicle is charging. So it's either going to give us heat later should we want it, it'll charge the car for our transportation, um, which of course we then will be pulling the vehicle. So of course it will decrease your range pulling a trailer like this, but it's always picking up, in the day at least, it's always picking up power. So it's a really cool situation to be fully sustainable here from the sun. We just finished a mobile solar trailer slash camper for Jillian Moore. We've been really honored to work with Jillian. She gets it. In other words, she understands just how amazing it is to be able to pull your charging station with you, with your electric vehicle. I live in Jasper, Arkansas at the moment. I live on a dude ranch and um, there's a lot of outdoor activities, a lot of things to do. And my initial plan is to, or like the end goal, is to yeah be kind of my own sustainable setup to have something to be able to charge off of and get an electric vehicle and some and like a nice little living space so i rock climb and there's a lot of dirt bag rock climbers out there that kind of live in a van and this is kind of that but a little bit more sustainable and just like um yeah it's it's i'm i'm very excited and it's been awesome working with solarola i learned about them through Route del Sol. I checked out their YouTube, their whole adventure, and that's what kind of got me to realize that this is this is possible. And um, yeah, I'm super excited. I just got to see the finished product yesterday, and uh, yeah, super stoked. <laughs>